Turn on the lights and stars We have uh, the sound of uh, famous construction works here, <laughs> if anybody's interested in that. Okay, so, and also clean up this one here. And then we have a really pretty blank console right now, and where we can route things. So basically one thing um, that maybe someone has got first contact with the Mew console is, why do I need this? Well, so this is, I think, re really start from the scratch. Um, the most biggest issue that we have nowadays with digital audio is latency. As soon as you record someone into your door and back, you add latency. And there are people who don't care about it, <laughs> but the, the better the musician and the more detailed things are, the more important it is, or the more it becomes an issue. And so we, we always have some natural latency, and maybe you even better know the numbers better than me, but there is latency from my voice to my ear or my inner ear that I have here inside. Run times uh, of microphones, for example, yeah. uh, even if they're not that much uh, yeah. apart from each right, other. Right, exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. And so, <coughs> and, um, but we used to be uh, to adapt these things. For example, we figure out that a piano has a latency of 6.5 millisecond, a uh, grand piano, for example. So this is the time the note starts and enter your ear. So some kind of latency is normal, but um, especially in a situation where you had headphones or things like that, it was a very artificial situation. There's some kind of expectations where this, the tone wants to be. And then every little piece of latency that is between you and the, the, the recording, there's something like it's putting a wall between yourself and the instrument. Oh. And I realized that even when you play with drummers or guitar players, they're so timing sensitive. Uh, you can't get them something that has software monitoring. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's You're basic. a drummer. Yes, <laughs> it's, a, it's a total nightmare. I mean, Absolutely, it's, it's, it's yeah. like... Uh, uh, it's called Hinterband. 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 Uh, we are looking for the, <laughs> for the, the English word for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the reproduction. Yeah, uh, I guess yeah. uh, yeah, if, yeah. You on, if you listen over the reproduction head on a tape machine, yeah, exactly. uh, then yeah. you uh, and you talk in, in the microphone, you're hearing yourself, you won't hear yourself yeah. Yeah. directly. Uh, it's always... Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, and that's yeah. what we... It's the, it's yeah. the latency it's, uh, that comes from... Yeah. Uh, from this little time the tape needs from the recording yeah. uh, head to the reproduction head. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and everybody, and I guess everybody knows that yeah. uh, phenomenon. Yeah, and we have the same thing here in, inside the DOS or inside the computers. Yes, computer becoming quicker, faster, tremendous fast, uh, but there's still, still latency, latency there. Yeah. Still latency. Ab and I think the, the real latency where you can have that you have a, as a kind of delay, yeah. I can live with that. Yeah. When we had something like 250 milliseconds, 500 milliseconds. Oh, if it's like a reverberation effect yeah, or effect, something. Effect, yeah. There is okay. something different thing, but something like so three or four milliseconds, or milliseconds stuff yeah. like that, where you <coughs> have something that's, yeah. it is there, but not really there. Yeah, yeah. And it's very irritating, oh, very totally, confusing. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw this with singers that suddenly really, the, 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 the intonation becomes a little flaky and stuff like that. It's all latency. So and when inside the Mio console, we do what we call a kind of hardware monitoring. You take the signal from the microphone and put it out directly to the output, to the yeah. physical output, physical into a physical output. Yes, it also goes through a conversion where it is inside the Mio console. And this is what we see here right now. This is our signal. This is already converted and being replayed we are the internal system of the DSP and things like that. Of course, of course, for good monitoring, maybe you need some additional effects, maybe a channel strap that you like to put or there. Or some singers would like to have a reverb, for example. A exam reverb, example, yeah. exactly, like stuff like that. So therefore we have the Mew console. My question is, my speakers, the Ex Machina Pulsar, you mm -hmm. read Pulsar here. Yeah. Um, why are they going to analog three and four? I don't know. I mean, are they really, because if I actually don't have them on three and four, I have them on one, two. Okay, no problem. You can also select one and two. It doesn't matter. I think we choose one and two for something else. For, ah, for the headphones. For the headphones, right. 
in your situation it was the headphones okay don't mix up too many things here because okay. we have right now they may assume there are on analog pre four okay so we leave it like that leave it like that and yeah. that's it yeah so and here another thing is also what you, we have different type of monitors with yeah. different output or input configurations with mm -hmm. the line level of plus four minus ten or classic monitor thing mm -hmm. So whatever it is, even you can trim or delay monitors if you have a very bad position. Maybe mm -hmm. on a location recording or sometimes you have not the stereo triangle, you have something different and you can have it also delay compensation here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and here are the different formats you can have on your output channels, for example. Um, so it's just a quick overview what you can adjust here. But the most important part is here is your physical output of your or your signal ends up here on your speakers. So what you, you want to listen here on this speaker, on the poser, that is what you select here on the main. Mm -hmm. In between, you have the opportunity to change the volume and um, you can uh, also put this on mono or you can just say, okay, I want to mute this speaker mm -hmm. and um, you can even lock the volume control. So if you nothing, want to can change, nothing can uh, change coincidentally. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. exactly. And you have also this minus 20 dB dim. Yes. St Things like that. Yeah. So, and if you say press Control Alt Options, you have something like the mute here. You can dim them, whatever you want. So there are key commands uh, available for everything, yeah. which everything. I, I most of the time like better than doing yeah. it with the mouse. With yes. the mouse, especially at the monitor control. Yeah. So, this is how this thing works. And the as a source, you always find the main channel. And this is this one. This is your main bus. This is the thing where you can listen to anything. Yeah. And so <coughs> you put this here in a separate area, which is pretty nice, as you can um, have always your, for example, output channels on this side here. Mm -hmm. And so, and now you have some other options. You can even throw this away. I'll put it back in a sec. Um, this is how the main, the classic main channel works. Um, you can see the levels uh, from the input signal that we got here, which is routed automatically to the main. But maybe you see a little bit how we start thinking. We go on from our speakers via our monitor controller to the source. The source is a main bus, and on the main bus we have mostly a mix of signals, different physical inputs, and maybe some digital effects rolling in, whatever it is the centerpiece of our studio here. And so we see inputs on channel four, what is routed to the main bus. From the main bus, it goes here to our source that we select main, and then we can hear it. So now we start a recording and we don't want to have the sound here in the room. We can switch to headphones. Mm -hmm. They are also <coughs> configured here as mm -hmm. a physical output. And, by and the way, we're talking about exactly the headphones from the head phones output jack that we right. have on the housing and yeah, exactly. of the front yeah. this is a very important thing these are really the physical outputs of the Mio, yeah. of, the, of your leo 8 uh, okay this is the thing and these are kind of the virtual inputs that you have here yeah. on the main bus because yeah. we can have them more we'll come later yeah because uh, what i see now mm -hmm. before we cleared the console surface mm -hmm. the the ui um we had artist as a second mm -hmm. option uh, exactly uh, but we erased that one yeah. we deleted it mm -hmm. one uh, but that yeah. was one i was mm -hmm. working w uh, with at the weekend yes exactly i like to come in a, i would like to pick up this thing in a minute because yeah. i'd like to show you something else because okay. we have also here um command shift a i put in a new object i did uh, reset this here for a sec this now you can see uh, input another input object and this is just configured so that it appears <coughs> just in this area here mm -hmm. don't touch here the output channels mm -hmm. so but i like to say all right i need a playback for my computer and these are so-called host channels i select stereo for it we go to host channels mm -hmm. and then you can see eight host channels it could be 128 uh, these are uh, stereo channels yes i selected stereo yeah. in this so, case and yeah. then he automatically it automatically makes yeah. one two one two uh, exactly yeah. if i'm going to apply it yeah. you see host one two is there okay. and now we have a playback from the computer automatically routed to the main bus so just in case we would we had pro tools open yeah uh, we could play back pro tools it would come through this channel through. right exactly yeah. so that channel strip uh, yeah yeah and this is this is the thing and uh, 
remember the numbers you can do 128 channels here on the top so um, um, now we have a working setup where we can playback things we can have a playback where we record onto it we can adjust the levels here from the input signal of the microphone of your artist <coughs> whatever and you can make your mix that you want to listen how you want to adjust things where you want to listen to yeah. here on your speakers or on your um, speakers or on your headphones and now we need a monitoring for the artist in a recording room and this is what's your artist channel and therefore i say mixer configure mixer and there we need this auxiliary buses so they are set to zero i want to have one more okay there you can see the options <coughs> that you got aux one stereo is the assignment is post insert as a pre fader visibility on strip and in monitor control this mm -hmm. is the thing and we say okay and you find this under menu mixer yeah, configure mixer. Mixer. configure mixer and then you get this flip menu yeah we can also select the group buses and dcas mute groups we can come back later to that stuff but okay. um most important let's start with with the small things and now you see, suddenly here you have an aux, an aux bus and you can also see the aux bus here and you can see it here. I come later back to this thing because this is very interesting, especially when, re when you have a separate um, record room. Um, if you click here on the aux channel, you see a little dot and you see that goes yellow. And if I'm going to flip this back, Okay. So we're again under uh, what we hear, the, and if you click yeah. the aux, no, that could don't, be no, that has no effect on what you're going to hear right now in 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 the engineering room. Yes, it is just for me to make things easier. It can just levels for my, for example, my artist want to hear himself here on this channel, and I give them something like 11 dB, but he wants to also have the playback pretty loud. Um, let's say he wants to have this zero dB. And I can make adjustment here. Maybe I have here another microphone in the room that I want to add also. Not easy to handle this one. If I'm going to click here on AUX, I can do this right here. Yeah. Makes it a little bit more handy. If you have a controller, um, you can use a controller for that. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave it away. As, cause, as you can see now, I adjust the level of this microphone and I'm going to adjust it so that I decide how loud it is. Until now, I have no configuration for this aux output, but I can do this here right now. On the physical, uh, on the output channels, I can select my physical output. Where I want to hear this signal. And in this case, at this is, let's say, our oops, artist. Um, I want to have, I want to send on this thing signal and that was the point what, where, where we selected one two as you can use the trs outputs the physical trs outputs of the of, of the of the, of the, the interface headphones in the front yeah no this is the, oh, the, uh, the, the out on, on the back on yeah. the back yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. exactly yeah and so go there and um, apply it so now my signal goes out on analog one two and this is my sub mix or my send mix um, I made for this artist. If I make one of the changes, you can see this here. Yeah. And these changes do not have any kind of effect on my channel, what I'm going to listen here. So, and I know this discussion. Maybe we have 12 channels here as inputs for our artists. Yes, I want to have this louder, this quieter. There, yeah, I need less bass. I need more blah, whatever. A lot of talking and you do not know what you're going to adjust this guy on the headphone over there. Hey, make it easy. Take your artist listen to on your speakers here in the room and now make the adjustment here so i Again. can hear what the artist hears on his headphones yes on his headphones yeah. just by switching right directly here on a speaker by and that's the the below part that's, this is the the, this uh, is the, the, source. the the upper part the, the upper part right that's exactly the upper part. this is where you uh, say the source yeah here i'm going to listen to my main bus and this is respective this this one this is the mix yeah, that i adjust absolutely. here yeah no? when i'm going to make changes yeah. here you can see how it changed the the main bus mm -hmm. but not the artist bus yeah and 
But that's fantastic that yeah. once you click artist, it gets golden. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you definitely know where you are. The faders get golden yeah. and you know where you are. But let me, let me for a moment uh, cut this fan because I really am afraid that oh, it yeah, could disturb it. too much. Okay. Now this very important information <laughs> <laughs> covered <laughs> under yeah. the noise of a fan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay.